Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X and I am officially back and now ah, it is fucking go time. Now I don't know about most people, but I've been like I'm like a COD veteran in a sense. I've been playing Call of Duty all the way since like COD 4. But back then I wasn't like a huge fan on it until Modern Warfare 2. And I kind of skimmed through World at War. I played it a little bit, but I didn't like I didn't gravitate towards it the way I did with Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 just took things to a whole nother level for me. And so, ever since then, I've bought probably, yeah, I've bought every Call of Duty every year just to see what it was like. Now, Call of Duty had its evolutions and it, it, it's been up and down. I, I don't know what to say about it. But if you're an OG like myself and you go way back to the days when the game was originally all boots on the ground, you didn't have all this jumping and dashing and sliding and all this other stuff, then this video is for those players who's trying to regain maybe their lost skill set in a sense or the newer players who's used to the jumping around and dodging tactics to teach you how to be good and how to maneuver through this game so first things first this is going to be a tip video i just want to put that out there right now and what i'm going to be giving you guys is a guide on how to maneuver around these maps in order to avoid constantly dying and where to look from to see someone camping or how to watch angles and corners and stuff like that so let's get into it now like i said first things first in this game there's something that I know a lot of people may or may not take advantage of and that's gonna be the bayonet charge this can be used very efficiently and I say that because this charge allows you to dip around anywhere you're using your sprint meter but it allows you to run and charge into anyone and melee them and it's a one-hit kill no matter what so picture this and this is how i plan on using it and this is how i've been using it since i started playing the game yesterday i i legit whenever i feel like there's an enemy around a corner i i take a few steps back and i bayonet charge around it and i do this because you never know what someone's doing around that corner they could just be watching that 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 doorway or that passageway and because of this sprint i feel like you sponge damage a little bit better and it also allows you to just completely extinguish a camper just chilling chilling in a corner who may may not or may be paying attention and you'll see it in the gameplay here and there where i just dash around a corner and boof there was an enemy and a lot of times you can use your mini map to also help you with that to let you know where enemies may be so it's a very useful tactic in staying alive and keeping up in kill streak and generally speaking just avoiding dying from senseless deaths uh tip number two Oh yeah, and there's gonna be there's gonna be five tips. Tip number two. Now this is a OG COD veteran tactic. Stick to the outer edges of the map. Now the reason you do this because most newer players and most people they tend to gravitate to the center because they believe that's where all the enemies will be. And nine times out of ten, this is very factual. But the problem with that is there that that area tends to be a high traffic area and unless you're like extremely extremely good with all these guns in this game i i do not recommend you going through the middle unless you're just godly always take the outskirts of the map now nine times out of ten like i said before you're going to meet up with another player from the enemy team that's using the same strategy and they do this because you can get around to the back and possibly flank and and this, lead, this sets you up for a huge multi-kill and a lot of XP. And a lot of people don't really follow this tactic anymore. But it's something very useful. Um, because, I mean, ever since, what, Infinite Warfare? No, not Infinite Warfare. Advanced Warfare, everything's just been jump and dodge, jump and dodge. But since that's no longer a thing, you have to play more tactical. You have to use your mind a lot more in this Call of Duty. So that's going to be tip number two. Tip number three. Okay. Now, I know in previous Call of Duties, if you double tap the reload button, you can actually do a quick reload. Now, what that does, it dumps the remaining ammo out of your um, your your clip, but you were able to reload your ammo quicker. I'm letting you guys know this right now. This isn't really a tip. This is more like a heads up. That is no longer in the game. You cannot double tap the X button while reloading on Xbox and on on PlayStation Square, you can no longer double tap those buttons and do a quick reload because those that mechanic was pretty much taken out the game. Um, 
Now, on to tip number three. Tip number three. Be weary of corners. Never, and I mean never, ever just dip around a corner. And I say this because that is how most people die in Call of Duty. All right? You see enemies, or you think you may see an enemy, and you, you see an opening, and you just dash around a corner. Never do that. And I say never do that because if you're a player like me, right? And I'm a very aggressive, strategic player, at least on the previous CODs I was when I started getting into it more so. You know that nine times out of 10, there's gonna be an enemy around that corner. And with the slim chance of you just running through and killing him, it's very low unless you catch him by surprise while he's not 100% paying attention. But if he's holding down a corner and watching a passageway, he has the biggest advantage in the world against you. And it will be to your demise more so than not. So what I recommend for all players is legit, and I, as weird as this sounds, I legit recommend you peek around the corner. Not like how you, not, not like, it's not like a Rainbow Six peek or a Battlefield 1 peek around the corner. No, I mean, aim into your sights and go around that corner slowly because you may see his head before he see you. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, oh man, look, SMGs is not reign supreme in this game. All right, that 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 is just fact. SMGs are no longer law in Call of Duty. These guns are well balanced, so I highly recommend that you find a gun that you absolutely feel like is perfect for you, and either stick with it, or I mean, there's nothing wrong with being versatile, but. These guns, they all feel different. No matter which gun you choose, there's gonna it's gonna feel different. The fire rate may be different. The recoil may be different. There's a huge difference is difference in each of these weapons, as I found out the other day. Well, yesterday while I was playing, and um, yeah, it's it, you. I highly recommend you finding a weapon that you absolutely feel like can be your go-to murder gun and just using that and leveling it up and proceeding it. Because I mean, regardless, you get XP. And tip number five, y'all ready for this? All right, tip number five is go to the quartermaster every day and get contracts. Yes, go get contracts. This is like Black Ops 1, where you had contracts to help you get money and level up. Go get those contracts. Why do I say get contracts? Because from completing these contracts, you have the potential to gain double XP coins. And with double XP coins, well, obviously, you get double XP. And they have it in a variety from, um, Weapons, wep, double XP, weapon, double, uh, weapon double XP. God, that was terrible. And player double XP. And another thing, from completing these contracts, you get supply drops. Supply drops leads to you unlocking even better versions of your weapon. Epic versions, rare versions, whatever. Do your contracts. Get contracts daily. They have a daily contract, they have a weekly contract, they have weekly contracts, and they have, um, I don't, I don't remember what the last one was. But I, I think it's a, a bigger duration than a week. Probably like a, a monthly contract. And it's going to give you the biggest payout. So, do these contracts. They will help you rank up super quick. And I know, I know, I know that a lot of players were wondering probably how so many people are in their 20s and 30s and 40s already. Well, these contracts really help out with that. And not only that, if you pre-order the game, you get, I think, two hours of double XP, which I wasn't able to take advantage of, simply because I don't know why, but my COD wouldn't allow me to play much yesterday. But it is what it is. I was able to gain this knowledge to help you guys. So it was your boy, Joker850X. Be on the lookout for more gameplay from Call of Duty from me and more tips as I gain more knowledge with this game based on my knowledge from past Call of Duty. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, tell me what you think. Be sure to stick around to that notification bell because I'll be continuously posting videos to help you guys get better at Call of Duty. See you guys on the battleground. Peace.